I suppose you must have gotten used to your life here now, huh, Sagiri? Affirmative. Adaptation to environment is proceeding favorably. I still can't believe this is your new home. I'll be honest, I have my doubts. But hey, looks like you made it work. If there's anything you need or want, don't be afraid to ask us, okay? Actually, may I make one request? Of course. What is it? Senna, you're... Uh-huh. My what? You're Onigiri. I, uh, I'd like to... For everyone in the colony. Oh! Now that you mention it, I remember you talked about it before. Before we came here, we suffered much hardship. At least, I thought it would be optimal to reward them with something. Right, of course. That sounds like a great idea. But are you sure you want the onigiri? There are lots of foods that are much nicer. I want your onigiri, Senna. <laughs> would you look at that, Senna? Looks like your cooking's found a fan. <laughs> well, if you insist that strongly, I'll have to put my best foot forward. So it sounds like we'll need quite a lot of Mithrice this time. Yeah, if we want to make enough for everyone, we'll have to ask Colony Lambda to share again. Sagiri volunteering for support. Pharon manipulators should be capable of forming the Onigiri. Oh, uh, thanks, Sagiri. That'll be handy. <laughs> Number seven, are you departing? Affirmative. Is something the matter, number six? Apologies, but could we talk in private? I have an urgent report to make. Senna, will you permit it? Sure, no problem. Don't mind us, we'll be waiting just over there. Understood. I will rejoin you once I have received the report. Now then, number six, please present your report. Before I do, I would like to verify my assumptions first. The number of remaining Ferrons in Colony Zero is a total of seven. And the Ferron ignition circuit is secured with an iris recognition lock, meaning that none, save us, are authorized to pilot them. Therefore, the use by Kevis and Agnes is fundamentally impossible. Correct? Affirmative. No errors detected in preceding statements. Number six? Number seven, I ask for your calm. While reconnoitering in the Faunus region, I confirm the existence of an eighth unit. <gasps> Unexpected. The identification number was for... Unit number 13. Are you certain? Does this suggest she is alive? I have no evidence. The signal disappeared quickly, and I could find no other leads. I have informed nobody of this incident so far. I didn't wish to cause undue agitation. However, I decided that you should be appraised of the situation, Number 7. I, uh... I know it's been on your mind ever since she disappeared. Thank you. This concludes the report. Looking forward to this onigiri, or what have you. Hey, Sagiri, all done? Affirmative. Unit number seven is ready to depart on command. <laughs> Someone sounds eager. Well then, shall we hit the road? If she is indeed alive, I should have felt the connection. But at this moment, I feel nothing. Is it... is it really you? Number 13?
Okie dokie, to Colony Lambda. Compliance. Right, so, bit of a dead end with the Mithras. What do we do now, Senna? Hmm, yeah, that's one thing, but... Senna? Hmm? Something wrong, Sigiri? Perhaps it is advisable to put the search for Mithras on hold and focus our efforts on these attack incidents. Huh? I am inferring from past behavior patterns. This course of action is congruent with your actions I observed up to this point. Ah... <laughs> Sounds like she's got you clocked, love. Doubt you can get out of this one, even if you wanted, which you probably don't. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Sagiri's got it in one. Let's capture the crooks that attacked the transports and get back the stolen Mithrice. Compliance. All right. Now that that's decided, where should we begin? We ought to talk to the logistics chief that our contact mentioned. They may know more about the assailants. Oh, yeah, sure thing. What can I... Ah! What? Why is that inside the colony? How did it infiltrate us? Hey, hang on. What's gotten into you? Don't act dumb. That's the lead mist that attacked us, isn't it? What? Wait, what are you saying? You think the person who attacked the transport was... <gasps> no, you got it all wrong. We haven't done anything, and Sagiri's been... Senna, breathe. But this guy's... So just to confirm, the Levnis, or whatever it is you saw, are you certain it was the same as this machine? Well, I just told you, didn't... Hmm. No, hang on. Now that I look closely, maybe it's not quite the same. Oh, and anyway, you lot helped us earlier. Oh, finally twigged, have you? Think before you make a ruckus next time, all right, mate? I... I'm terribly sorry. It's just this Levnis, it freaked me out. We are investigating this matter. For the benefit of ascertaining the culprit, we request information sharing. In that case, you should speak to Sergeant Tonya. She's been assigned to the investigation. If you're willing to lend us a hand, she should be your first port of call. I imagine she'll have gotten some information by now. I hope it'll prove useful to you. Hey, say now. What the spark is going on here? <gasps> Don't worry, Sigiri. We all trust you. You said it. It can't have been the others from Colony Zero either, I'm sure. If we are to ascertain the truth, I believe that all possibilities must be considered. In other words, we don't know enough yet to conclude that the culprit was a pharaoh, right? Indeed. That's right. We'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, we will. We must. Is it coincidence? Or is it... her? The 
logistics chief told me you were coming. You wanted to talk about the attacker? Whippy said you might have some clue. I'll be honest, we don't really know anything about that Levness's whereabouts yet. However, it seems that there may have been a similar incident involving goods stolen by a Levness at Colony 4. Your guess is that the perpetrator of the Colony 4 attack was the same person who was responsible here? Yeah, I think they might be. Really, though? That's a long way to go. If nothing is done, other colonies may also suffer losses to goods and material. I was hoping you guys would be able to visit Colony 4 and investigate matters on the ground. Why us? What's wrong with you not handling it? If we Agnians did anything like that publicly, we would arouse lots of suspicion. Especially immediately after getting raided. Yeah, exactly. It would be hard for us to investigate any further. But also, since I hear you guys are all buddy-buddy with the Colony 4 folks... Yes, I see your point. Guess we're in the best position to take this on. All right, we'll take a look. Before we depart, I request a quick confirmation. The Levness that attacked the transport, was it similar to this unit? Um, if I remember correctly, I think they could be the same model. Understood. Thank you for your cooperation. It seems we could conclude that the perpetrator of the attack on the transport was a Pharon after all. Tyon, mate, pal. You always know exactly what to say. Just stating the facts. Regardless, no matter if it's a Pharon or an as-yet-unknown Levness model, the real problem lies elsewhere. What's important is who was piloting it. Number 13. Uh, are we gonna like this? I have information to offer. Probability is high that the objective is a Pharon, Assuming that is correct, I believe I may have knowledge of the Operator's identity. Whoa, really? But all the folks from Colony Zero were accounted for. Several years ago, a soldier went missing in action after an accident during a mission. That was Number 13, the Operator of Pharon Unit Number 13. I see. At the time, neither the Husk nor the Pharon were recovered, leading to Number 13 being declared killed in the line of duty. But you're saying it's possible she's still alive somewhere today. Is that it? If Number 13 got separated from her comrades, no wonder she'd be pushed to steal supplies in order to survive. I have no proof for the conjecture. However, if Number 13 truly is alive, then this time around, I will be sure to... Sagiri, have you been worrying about this ever since we talked to Whitby? All right. It looks like we've got one more objective to add to the list. Righto, to bring number 13 back to safety. Sound about right, Sagiri? Yes, Senna. All right then. Time to head to Colony 4 and look for clues, just like Tonya said. I hope there's some clue in Colony 4 about where to find number 13. Ah, you guys. Hi there. Uh, could you keep it brief? I'm kind of snowed under. Then we'll get right to it. Someone hit one of your transports, yeah? 
What? Where'd you hear that? Oh, whatever. At least it will be quick. Remember before, when a secret messenger we sent to our allies got attacked? The same Levness from that time showed up again, only this time it went after... Well, you already know. Do you have anything that might help us track them? Oh, you guys are tracking them too? Yeah, for a few reasons. You want to let us handle your side of it as well? Sure, since you ask so nicely. Cheers, Maxie. We owe you. And sorry for the hassle. Nah, don't mention it. This isn't the time for personal feelings. Best focus on resolving the matter at hand. According to my info, the attack took place around the border between here and the Danar Desert. If you search every nook and cranny thereabouts, you might find something. Understood. Then we'll have to go do just that. I'm sure it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. Be real sparking careful. Oh, and good luck. There are crucial parts missing. Perhaps someone was trying to repurpose them. More importantly, there's nothing else here. Did we come here for nothing? Evidence of Pharon activity detected. Huh? What? Where? Visual sensors have detected residual flame clock energy. Its signature is unique to mobile armored units utilizing a flame clock for propulsion. Wow, you can find stuff like that. Nifty. The trail leads in the direction of the desert. Pursuit is currently possible and advised. Then let's go after them, Sigiri. Compliance. Door. What's it doing in a place like this? Uh, doesn't want to open. What do we do? Aha! Sounds like a job for Lance. Dinky door like this? All I need is a bit of a running start and... Interfacing with security seal. Entering override code. Clear. Entry lock has been released. 
Oh, oh. Cool. Cheers. Might be a bit late to ask, but since we're about to meet this number 13, what kind of person is she? Number 13 was the foremost Pharon pilot in Colony Zero. In terms of pure battle prowess, she exceeds my own. If she attacks us before we can explain the situation, things might go badly for us. That will not be an issue. Number 13 will respond to me. You've got a lot of trust in her. Yes. I am sure she will understand. Cool. Cool. Well then, what say we get this Tira reunion underway? Arrival in new area confirmed. Objective confirmed ahead. <gasps> we have no hostile intentions. Please disengage optical camouflage. Receiving unrecognized ID. Pharon unit. Number 13. So, it is her. 13. Number 7? Sagiri! Please, I need some time. Uh, okay. Thirteen. Number seven! Oh, I don't believe it, it's really you! It's been so long, number seven. I thought I'd never ever see you again. Agreed, Thirteen. I should have realized this sooner. If I had, this wouldn't have... No! Don't worry a bit. Anyway, it wasn't all terrible for me. I mean, I almost died. And I was alone for ages. But it's all been worth it. I finally realized something! And what is that? All of us Theron pilots, from the moment we were born, we didn't actually have to follow any of the orders we were given. We only thought we did. Do you understand? But it wasn't true in the slightest! See for yourself. Nobody gives me any orders, but I'm still able to survive like this, right? In other words, you have learned how to issue orders to yourself. <laughs> what a weird way to put it. But yeah, maybe you could say that. From this point on, all of us can run free. Live life just how we want to. So come on, number seven. Let's you and me go on a rampage together. Spread mayhem to the entire world. Please? Huh? All the things and people that made us what we are now. Now it's our turn to do with them as we like. We can loot and steal. We can smash and burn. We can even murder. Right? Doesn't that just give you chills, number seven? You're with me, right, number seven? You've gotta be! The... Thirteen? What are you talking about? Um... Wait. 
What are you talking about? What's wrong? You've always understood me, number seven. That is... Oh, no. How very strange. I don't seem to understand you either. Before now, I always understood everything about you, number seven. Thirteen, I'm Sigiri now. Please, listen. Sigiri? What is a Sigiri? Number seven? You're number seven! Seriously, what's gotten into you? What about you? I see. Now it makes sense. Now I understand why the connection between us has up and disappeared. Thirteen. What do you mean? I and number seven have always been together. But, oh uh, well, things change, right? I can see that your heart belongs over there now. <gasps> Sorry, Sagiri, but this... this is something I can't ignore! Senna, negative. She's coming! In the Pharaon, now! <gasps> Understood. For now, huh? Leave the healing to me. Now, 
I am begging you. Please, come with me. Everyone is waiting for you. Thirteen. Let us go home. Home? Where is that? Huh? Where can I go back to? Where am I supposed to go? Thirteen. You will always... Don't you get it, number seven? From the very start, there's never been a place for us in this world. That's why I wanted to make one. And to do that, everything else must first be torn down. We have to burn this world that Mobius loves so much, down to the ground, then take back all that they stole from us. Is that why you attacked and pillaged the colony units? Keep on doing that, and you only create more enemies. And for what? So I was right about you. You don't understand me after all, number seven. <sighs> I am sorry, Thirteen. What for? I thought, of all people, you would surely understand my reasoning. But by doing that, I over-relied on the connection I thought we had and neglected to pay attention to the real you. I failed to consider how deeply you must have felt about us. And now, I have lost you. Hmm. Listen, please, Thirteen. This world, it is not as cruel and heartless as you have thought. There are people, even outside of Colony Zero, who accepted me as Sagiri, as their own. And if that is true, there must be a place we can call home. Hmm. You really have changed. I don't think the old number seven would ever say something like that. Since I and the others have changed, it would follow that the world itself may also change. Or do you think that reasoning is false, Thirteen? <laughs> oh, you really are something else, number seven. Who but you would think of others so much? On the day that you disappeared, number 13, I made a decision. Even if my fate was to run down my clock to the last, I would defend every last person in Colony Zero. I see. Isn't it funny? I had the same idea and tried my hardest to achieve it. That is precisely why. If our roles were reversed, I would have chosen just as you have. <laughs> you may well have. I suppose we aren't so different after all. Yes. And we are connected. Now and forever. That's right. Well then, I feel relieved. Ah, uh, Thirteen, wait! Dead end. We had the entrance covered. There shouldn't have been any other way through. Sparks. You don't think she jumped off from here, do you? No. Thirteen is alive. You can tell? Number Thirteen and I have had a connection since the moment of birth. A connection? I would conjecture it to be a phenomenon akin to telepathy. My sense of it had been severed after she disappeared. But now, I can feel Number 13's existence clearly, once again. Could it be connected somehow to you and her being so similar? That is unclear. However, there may be some kind of causal connection between the two. Ah, oh, mystery upon mystery. It would be good to meet her again. I guess we'll have to make enough onigiri for one more person next time. I would like that. And I conjecture number 13 would too. Well, we've come a long way on our quest to make some rice balls. <laughs> After all that effort, I bet Senna's onigiri will taste that much better. Mimi, I don't really need the extra pressure. You know what does need pressure? 
The myth rice. Let's grab what was stolen and skedaddle. Yeah. We should give the good news to Colonies 4 and Lambda while we're at it. Yes. <sighs> that was a lot of squeezing. Thank you for your efforts. Everyone is exceedingly grateful. <laughs> it's a bit of a shock to me that the Onigiri were a hit with the others, not just you. It's given me a kick in the butt. Maybe I should go ahead and learn to cook properly. Is that something you want to do, Senna? Uh, um... When you put it like that... I guess maybe that's a bit much. Is that so? like to create a new colony. Hmm? A new colony? So, you mean different from Colony Zero? Yes. It would be a place where we would not have to hurt others and steal to live. Where, even if we go far away, we'll have a place to come back to. A colony we can all call home. That's what I want to make. I see. Sounds to me, you finally found your calling. If I had not met you, Ouroboros, I would have remained number seven. Would not have reconciled with Thirteen. I might even have had to harm her. My comrades and I can exist in this way because of what you and the others have done. Therefore... <clears throat> Thank you, Sana. Huh. Would you believe it? 